क्या हाल है भाई लोग सबके गुड टू सी यू इन द लाइव शैट उतना बढ़िया आज आज नहीं आया है कमेंट लेट वाला अल अल लेट इट्स ओके इट्स ओके आज उतना बढ़िया नहीं आया पिछले हफ्ते लेट नहीं चैनल ओके दिस इज गुड ये अच्छा है दिस दिस इज गुड वन सो वेलकम टू टुडे पॉडकास्ट घबराइए मत अभिजीत आने वाला है एज यूजल फैशनेबली लेट है वो फैशनेबली लेट नहीं आएगा तो फिर काम कैसे चलेगा वो भी आ रहा है थोड़ी देर में बट uh, हम लोगों को बहुत चीजों के बारे में बात करनी है सबसे पहले तो आज तो भाई खुशी की खबर है हमको लड्डू लेके आना चाहिए था शो के ऊपर लेकिन uh, मेरे को लड्डू मिले नहीं सुबह सुबह तो कोई बात नहीं uh, अगले हफ्ते लड्डू का इंतजाम कर लेंगे हम लोग बट आई थिंक दिस इज अ गुड दिस इज अ ग्रेट डे फॉर इंडिया एंड आई थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ क्रेडिट हैज टू गो टू द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट पीपल दैट माइट नॉट है भाई हुआ क्या है एसेंशली क्या हुआ है कि दी पी एफ आई एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ एफिलियटेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विद इट हैव बीन बैंड फॉर फाइव ईयर्स अंडर यू ए पी ए दैट मीन्स की यू ए पी ए में लगता है तो आपको पता है कि कितना सीरियस है तो गवर्नमेंट हेज सेट दैट इज अ मेजर थ्रेट टू इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी आई थिंक देर आर अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिलेटेड टू इट दैट हैव ऑल्सो बीन बैंड सो दी रीहैब इंडिया इंटरनेशनल कैंपस फ्रंट ऑफ इंडिया All India Imams Council, National Confederation of Human Wait, Rights. Wait, there was a All India yeah. Imams Council. <laughs> <laughs> National Junior Front, Empower India Foundation, and Rehab Foundation, Kerala. All these have been uh, have been um, um, banned for a period of five years. Uske jiske baad, I think according to the law, you have to review it every five years. Any organization that you ban, to ap initially five saal ke liye hi ban karte ho. so that is the step that they have taken you know what i find about this this uh, entire situation what i find really funny is ki inka jo patna mein jo plan hatch hua tha the 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 india vision 2047 that they had found mm-hmm. us vision mein some of the interesting parts were so i i, I had a tweet thread jo maine kahin par to khol ke rakha hua tha let me see bookmark kar leta Uh, है इधर कहीं पर मेरे पास एक सेकंड इधर क्या भाई ये हो गया 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 तुझे बुढ़ापा बुढ़ापा आ आ आई थिंक व्हाट इज अरे क्वीन अभिजीत की जीती जागती नो बडी अलीजाबेथ सॉरी सॉरी क्वीन अलीजाबेथ जीती जाती मुझे लगा माता जी निकल गई होंगी माता जी अभी भी यही है बताओ पुनर्जन्म हुआ है ना पुनर्जन्म रीइंकारनेशन हो गया इनके साथ क्या मैं असली क्वीन एलिजाबेथ हूँ असली क्वीन एलिजाबेथ हूँ हाँ एक सेकंड यार मेरे पास था ये कहीं पे मैंने अबे किधर चला गया यार एक सेकंड बट इन एनी केस मैं बताता हूँ आई टेल यू आई टेल यू व्हाट टेक इश्यूज एंड एल टेक फॉर ग्रेट टेक इश्यूज एंड ग्रेट मैनेजमेंट कि हमको जो पॉइंट बनाना है हमारे पास वही सर्च करके रखा दी यार मैंने मैंने ऑनेस्टली आई थॉट मैंने निकाल के रखा हुआ है बट इट्स ओके आई नो वेयर टू फाइंड इट ऑन ट्विटर बट द फनी थिंग वाज दैट द द द 2047 डॉक्यूमेंट दैट वाज फाउंड फ्रॉम पीएफआई मेंबर्स पीएफआई हैज डिनाइड इट बट उनके मेंबर से ही पाया गया था उसमें बेसिकली लिखा हुआ था कि कैसे हाउ वी विल Uh, achieve vision 2047 one of the, a few salient points were that you have to create a victimhood narrative or or mindset within every single muslim number 2 was you have to stockpile weapons on every muslim property number 3 was you have to create like small scale violence to like you know uh, put fear in the hearts of hindus number 4 was that you have to cut off obcs uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribes away from the Hindu fold, and I do like how well the Indian government has handled it, because using Hindutva, using the Ram Mandir movement, using different financial and social inclusion schemes, they have integrated OBCs, SCs, and STs into the mainstream. वाला है क्या? ये वाला है क्या तू? That's the one. That's the one. Yes, yes. वही है. तो उसके अगर end में जाओगे ना, तो not only have they been able to integrate. and not allow hindu society to fragment the way pfi wanted 
बट अब मतलब फनी थिंग इज की इन्होंने तो पसमंदाओं को भी थोड़ा सा खींच लिया तो वेन वेन पी एफ आई गॉट बैंड इफ यू गो ऑल द वे डाउन यू सी की पसमंदा सोसाइटी ने एक लेटर निकाला है देव देव क्रिएटेड अनाउंसमेंट प्रेजिंग द गवर्नमेंट फॉर बैनिंग पी एफ आई जो फ्रेगमेंटेशन वो हिंदुओं की करना चाहते थे साला उन्हीं की होगी which i thought was 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 Great quite nice is that, you know this is something we need to talk about mm. that you know, all these schemes that modi got about you know electrification spending money on minorities and all of that yeah. that is now yielding yeah. results because no longer are pasmandas dependent on their feudal lords yes for getting them goodies and anyway what was happening was see the the feudalization of muslim society ossified in 1857 Mm. they were disproportionately punished for the rebellion mm. and then what happened was that they essentially feudalized and the feudal lords used to give ko piles ko rakhi hai and used don't not see it kushal kamini ay mararu bahut badmashi karti hai you see i'm the queen I don't have to tolerate all these dirty brown peasants. Yeah, yeah, you are a rude. As as I was saying, yeah. Uh, what these schemes did was, you know, in a sense, they allowed the pasmanders to believe that they no longer had to depend pasmanders or or on 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 their uh, feudal lords. Mm. to uh, get goodies which anyway they were not getting because these people used to take all the goodies it used comment ne wapas atma chada di rana ayub ke comment se wapas atma chad gayi it used to be personal favors mm. and so what modi has done is he has given these people a spine to stand up for themselves mm. god help those who help themselves you say yes and, and that is what they are doing yeah and uh finally they now have a voice and we now know that they are no longer part of this dreadful dreadful mm. uh, you know uh, 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 feudal semitic semito barbarous conspiracies uh, against the indian state <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> कुशल काल मार्क्स की तरह क्यों बैठे हो हर पॉडकास्ट में अलग जगह हर पॉडकास्ट में अलग बैकग्राउंड होता है इनका तो ट्रैवल कर रहा आलू तू क्या करेगा तो काल मार्क्स की जगह काल मार्क्स का हर जगह घूमता रहता था क्या अपेरेंटली अपेरेंटली आई जस्ट फील टू नोटिस दैट बिहाइंड दैट ब्राउन पेजेंट देयर कशाल मीरा Uh, is a door that seems to have a lot of fungus on it you say uh, 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 <laughs> and i as a queen would never sit in front of a door like that mm. it set up the, the the blackness of his soul on, on white paper yeah excuse me not kar mat kar ji 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 बगर पचमंदा आंदोलन को तो अभी देख पचमंदा आंदोलन में थोड़ा बहुत इन्वेस्टमेंट तो बनता ही है हाँ। अगर मुस्लिम समाज में इतनी आ, 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 हालत है अगर एक कम्युनिटी की तो उनको सपोर्ट देना तो सही है बट ऑन अ सीरियस नोट आई थिंक अभिजीत वाज राइट जो इवेंचुअली क्या होता है जब आप स्कीम्स लॉन्च करते हो उनको उसकी जैसे बोलते हैं उसकी फ्रुक्टिफिकेशन को समय लगा एंड आई थिंक स्लोली बट श्योरली बीजेपी आउटरीच प्रोग्राम थ्रू स्पेसिफिक स्कीम्स टू द एस सी एस सी कम्युनिटी टू द ओबीसी कम्युनिटी एंड नॉट फ्रुक्टिफिकेशन ये नया निकाल के लाया अपनी गांड में डाल दे अपने फ्रुक्टिफिकेशन को बट या गो हेड वो यू सेंग कुशल so jaisa the outreach programs through these schemes uh, huh. and i people who have heard me time and again i've always said that i started seeing these things in 2015 16 these specific schemes because the difference between previous governments and this government is that when these this particular government actually launches a scheme there is follow up of whether the scheme is being applied properly or not i'll give you the yeah. example of uh, washrooms or toilets 
there was geo tagging of every toilet photos were taken geo tagging was done follow up was done money is not given until the bathroom is made and they also follow up whether they use it or not at least once or twice wala follow up karte hai is yeah. it ekdam perfect no but there is an improvement from the previous uh, previous regime secondly the same thing applies to water and when they give water they don't discriminate na it's a hindu or a muslim they give water to people so oh it does that mean all muslims will suddenly have a change of heart and start voting for bjp no. no but it definitely means that in a certain section of muslim society if not now 15 20 years down the line the the hostility to the bjp and the bjp being a virtual paraya for them is going to reduce but what the bjp needs to do is in such a scenario when there are wo yaad hai beech mein ek news aayi thi ek musliman banda jisne bjp ko support kiya uski apni community wale usko marna shuru kar diye usko pel rahe the now what the bjp needs to do is they need to make inroads into those pockets put their karyakartas of muslim origin over there mm. and make sure these karyakartas have somebody to lean on to ye yeah. bombay the bombay ke level mein fir bhi ho jata i know many be muslim karyakartas of bjp who actually support them and they live in muslim areas by the way mm. wo muslim area mein rehte hain aur wo log kafi strong hote hain us jagah ke uh, but uh, definitely abhijit is right these schemes do have a difference Yeah. how much does it convert into electoral gains is is a is is should not be the only criteria it should be judged at i think eventually even if it reduces the hostility to bjp in 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 indian society that i think is a big win itself and don't you think that uh, a centuries long ingrained hostility will not take a five year election cycle to overcome yes absolutely i that's why i said at least two decades when mm. you have two decades of good delivery and which leads india out of the current financial position into the far mm. more stronger position and when people of every uh, sect of indian society is a beneficiary of it they they can't help but not notice it right you yeah. it, it, and and to say that no matter what happens yeni sudhring is a very generalized statement which i i don't accept Well, if it um, is, even if it is a, even if that's your statement, you know, Kushal, let's say that someone is making a statement. Bol raha, if you agree with that statement, then what is the solution? In your opinion, if you think that this is a question of a cat, it will never be answered. What is the solution for you? Are they going to throw them in the Arabian Sea? What are they going to do with them? Tell me. The country is not their own. The country is ours. The country is theirs. The country is Sikhs. The country is the Parsis. What are they going to do with them? Throw them in the Arabian Sea. मेरा एक क्वेश्चन था तुम दोनों से सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ अभिजीत अभिजीत सो आई वाज ट्राइंग टू रीड अप ऑन सोशल साइंस डेटा ऑन द इफेक्टिविटी ऑफ बैनिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फ्रॉम एंड एंड इंटरेस्टिंगली इट वाज फ्रॉम इसराइल I was mm. trying to read some material. Uh, articles they random idhar udhar. So in Israel, what they do is rather than banning organizations before banning, they actually make sure that all the key elements of the organizations are traced and tracked, and then they. arrest those people and then eventually over a period of time they shut the organizations down because mm. in their experience if you shut an organization all happens is the organization shuts down but all the players go and form a new outlet and join like in india it's a classic case right that simi was shut and everybody of simi went to pfi so what was the difference <laughs> yeah so you know this is uh, a good ban is like a good censorship when a censorship works you never hear of the book okay uh, bans are like that a good ban you never hear of the organization now let me read out all the successful bans that uh, uh, organizations banned by india okay i'm going to read out a selection of organizations banned by india hmm. and you tell me how many of them you've heard of <laughs> al umar mujahideen no al badr All no. Tripura Tiger Force. They have heard, Ak- of, but I have not heard the first two. Akhil Bharat Nepali Ekta Samaj. <laughs> no, I don't have never heard of this. Dindar Anjuman. Nope. Dukhtarani Millat. Dukhtaran, I think we've heard. Right? Yeah, his guy, na? Yeah, Andrabi ka. Ha. Ah. Ah. Kya? Asi Andrabi. Asi. Asi Andrabi. Ah. Gorkha National Liberation Army. I don't Thik think hai? so. International Sikh Youth Federation. Jamaatul Mujahideen Bangladesh. Sikh Youth Federation. I have heard of it. Jamaatul Mujahideen Bangladesh. Kamtapur Liberation Organization. 
खालिस्तान जिंदाबाद फोर्स ये, ये। कांगले यावोल कन्ना लूप एल टी टी तो हम तुमने सुना है हाँ। मणिपुर पीपल्स लिबरेशन फ्रंट ये सुना है ये सुना है नेशनल डेमोक्रेटिक फ्रंट ऑफ बोडोलैंड नेशनल फ्रंट ऑफ त्रिपुरा नेशनल सोशलिस्ट काउंसिल ऑफ नागालैंड पीपल्स रेवोल्यूशनरी पार्टी ऑफ कांगले पार्क पीपल्स लिबरेशन आर्मी बैंड द चाइनीज आर्मी इन इंडिया तमिलनाडु लिबरेशन आर्मी तमिल तमिल नेशनल रिट्रीवल ट्रूप्स अल्फा तो तुमने सुना है यूनाइटेड नेशनल लिबरेशन फ्रंट so you see most organizations you would not have heard of simi mm. was a particularly badly done ban because mm. they did not act before they banned it here what has happened is they have acted they have collected yeah. everything still i don't think it is going to be a fully successful ban because uh, efi has not maintained a record of all its members mm. so there are lots of people who would have gotten through the cracks and things like that and i suspect one of the reasons that they crack took so long to crack down was they wanted to see who are all associating with it how they are associating with it this would have been months if not years of surveillance work being done yeah and then going after it yeah you yeah, know nah. so <laughs> bans have to be like kushal said bans in israel before you ban something they do a lot of research they see ki kya kya kiske sath links hai aur fir sabhi ko ban kar dete hain you are blacklist kar dete you can't get bank loans you can't get this you can't get that all kinds of things hmm yeah it looks like they're going after even you know sources of funding yes, for this for this should. organization as they yeah. should yeah but jinhone bhi pfi ko ya unse related organizations ko donation diya hai paisa diya hai kuch bhi diya hai loan diya hai sabko sab pe ed i think everything is being investigated by ed which i think is very positive this is I don't know if this is unprecedented, but इतना सारा मैंने नहीं देखा है for the for the government to have acted against any sort of uh, organization as thoroughly they have done against PFI at least it on paper. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> and the point that you're raising, uh, Abhijit, about के members को आपने बंद कर दिया, members को आपने डाल दिया, you've banned the organization, you've gone after the funding, but eventually. you know the, the the thing is ki you can keep cutting off ravan's head but unless you put the arrow in ravan ravan's belly ravan is not going really going to die so the the point yeah, a lot of people so have raised the huh. like, go ahead go ahead this is like the say? rat catcher dilemma right no yeah. no pest exterminator ever kills off all the pests in your house the ter- termite exterminator will always leave two or three termites uh, thing the rat eliminator will always be one or two rat ka bachchas around yeah. why so that it they will have renewed business yeah, yeah. now in this case <laughs> it's obviously not out of intent but you will yeah. never be able to these are extraordinarily uh, well uh, siloized and they have covert branches overt branches and see with hawala trails you can never pick up hawala trails boss the mm. whole point of hawala is you can't pick it up Mm. unless somebody has been very uh, uh, careless and said ha main ja ke uh, kushal bhai se main 5 uh, 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 crore rupaye lene wala hu then they know kushal mehra is a part of uh, uh, pfi yeah okay but if they have said main kalue se lene ja raha hu <laughs> it's a code word they won't know who kalua is <laughs> well for the record it is no longer a code word <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, no longer it has been exposed in front of four thousand people. <laughs> uh, somebody was somebody is also asking the question. I forgot where the question was, but comparisoner is saying, "Why did SDPI not get banned yet?" And I'm wondering it's if it's because they didn't have anything, you know, ironclad on SDPI because they are probably also aware of maybe. the level of activism that the judiciary has and if it's not completely airtight if it's not completely ironclad ye chala judiciary bol degi ki nahi hatao isko cancel karo so yeah. it might be yeah. it might be that as well now see the problem is 
SDPI, it, it's actually different. SDPI is registered with the Election Commission of India, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Banning a political party boss is a completely different ball game. Mm. Okay. Because if you set the precedent of banning a political party, then what prevents a, a, another government from banning the opposition altogether? Mm. Right. So you can't, once the election commission has accepted your resignation, uh, so as your registration, banning it is a nightmare. It requires a caliber of proof that would convict you in a court of law. Mm. Yeah. So it's very, very different. Yeah. So then coming to that point that you were saying, you know, this is very easy to silo. There's very easy to raise funds for organizations like these and purposes like these, whether Chahe Wo Fund India Se Aare Ho, Chahe Wo Fund Bahar Se Hawala Se Aare Ho, Jaise Bhi Aare Ho. And th this has to be a multi-pronged approach. You know, people are, you can't just start congratulating yourself and patting yourself on the back. Ki chalo, humne inko jail mein dal diya, humne organization band kar diya, baise aage ja ke is tarah ki organization nikal kar nahi aegi, kyunki... Oh. Kisi na kisi tarah se is tarah ki organization nikali aegi kushal. They'll, they'll find a way. And if you want to if you want to prevent such organizations coming up in the future, obviously yeah. the steps that we talked about, the financial and social inclusion schemes that we that you mentioned earlier, uske saath saath, us tarah ke steps bhi lene padenge, jis tarah ke steps I think France le raha hai. Now, I, I have made the mistake of not giving this government enough credit in the past. So I don't want to say ki government ke bas ki nahi hai is tarah ke steps lena. Because we say this and then the government takes steps that at least surprise me personally. So, UP mein or Assam jaise states mein humne dekha hai that the government, if there is enough political will, that they will go after the, the ideology that creates such kinds of organizations. Jis tarah ki at least yogi government jo hai koshish kar rahi hai. कि हम वहां के जो मदरसे हैं उनको सेकुलराइज करने की कोशिश करें थोड़ी सेकुलर एजुकेशन इंपार्ट करने की कोशिश करें हेमंत विश्व शर्मा तो बोल रहा है कि हम तो मदरसे ही बंद करवा देंगे वहां पे स्कूल बनवाएंगे बच्चों को अगर पढ़ाई करनी है तो स्कूल में जाके करें सो डू यू थिंक कि उस तरह का भी एक चेंज uh, जरूरी है टू स्ट्राइक एट द हार्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम कि नाभि में तीर मारने की जरूरत है सी द बैन इज ओनली द बिगिनिंग Okay, because there's a whole eco. Remember, these organizations they have so many wings. They have charity wings that will actually do some real good. Like you know, Hezbollah started off as a charity organization. Yeah. Okay, and and they did really good work. I've literally seen some of the camps that they used to run in South Lebanon, and they were fantastic work. Okay, yeah. so uh, uh, these people they would have charity wings. They would have multiple banking wings. They would have an intellectual wing. They would have a. Uh, 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 you know, a writer's wing, a student's wing, this, yeah. that, what not, what not. There would be family groups and sympathetic groups that will not show their face. Because remember, for every funder on record, there will be at least 100 funders off record. Yeah. Because remember, their, their way of radicalization was with ordinary people who will not do, uh, 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 you know, uh, banking transfers they would give you cash and things like that mm. right how will you pick up on that so this is just the beginning mm. you then have to sit there are long interrogation processes involved and you know contrary to popular belief torture does not yield anything it is the most useless thing around mm. but you know a proper interrogation session with the fear of long 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 jail terms is much, much more effective. You know, torture is just fundamentally wrong and it's counterproductive because then mm. if you're under torture, you will say anything. Mm. Uh, you know, I mean, you don't even need to torture me. You tickle me with a feather and I'll say whatever. <laughs> I'll even go to the extent of claiming I'm a heterosexual. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Rana, uh, AIM Ki Maharu, if you're listening, now you know what to do. Yeah, if you're so, still in the comment section. Yeah. It's, it's This is just the beginning. Please understand. It is a very long, painful process that has yeah. to, uh, if, if you are serious about eliminating all their roots and nodes and everything. And mm. mind you, in spite of that, you will never eliminate 100% of this. Well, there yeah. will be about 10-15 silos which we won't even know about, which we, we were never meant to know about, which we could never know about. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're you're just you're looking to at least your sh- medium term goal to long term goal should be to create a critical mass, a critical mm-hmm. mass that acts as a bulwark, that acts as a buffer against you know the, those extremist elements that you're talking about. See, there's always a center of gravity. <clears throat> they won't go. But if you take huh. out some critical elements, then the whole structure collapses. Right? Yeah. It's like it's, it's like the difference going after a um ye kahan baat diya nahi nahi wo billi ko dekhne gaya koi baat nahi tu bolte ja uh it's like going after a uh the soldier ants as opposed to the queen ant hmm destroy the queen ant the entire ant colony is finished right yeah. but it takes a trained eye to know who the queen ant is because they <laughs> Queen ant won't seem terribly bigger than some of the other uh, ants in that colony. Mm. So it 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 requires a lot of training. It requires a lot of uh, uh, work. बहुत काम लगता है इसमें. सब लोग headgear पहने हुए तो मैं मेरा. हाँ सब लोग headgear पहन के रखें. This is the headgear episode. Yes. Yeah. See, I just wanted to say you people are wearing peasant headgear, whereas I am the only one wearing a genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the actual praja is here also. You are my queen. <laughs> I, I, I actual really praja is also here. I, I really can't tell where the cap begins or ends or where the dark glasses <laughs> begin. Because you see, it. Kosher, I knew they it. All kind of I knew you were going to say that. The rest of his black skin. <laughs> yeah, this is this. I'm I, also I, wearing I, the newest progressive burqa by Adidas. So this is special Adidas burqa that they sent me to try yes. for the show. वैसे and i can say that yes if you are a woman who does not want to arouse the sexual intentions of men ye main main ye bhi kar sakta hu ye dekho ye aaye sham ko kya ho gaya aise apne kapde ko aise karke ye kya ho gaya am i the only one who thinks sham is frozen Yes, I think Sham is frozen. Sham, Sham, ऐसे अपना मैं लैला लैला चिल्लाऊंगा कुर्ता फाड़ के किसी ने लटक गया। एक कोई इसका मीम बनाओ, मीम बनाओ। किसका? मेरा? मैं लटक गया क्या? यार तेरा मतलब फुल टाइम तू क्या कर रहा था? ऐसे। मैं लैला लैला चिल्लाऊंगा बुरका फाड़ के नहीं कर रहा था मैं। देखा यही होता है जब तुम ऐसे मजाक उड़ाते हो बुरके का हाँ बुरके का मजाक उड़ाते हो तो इंटरनेट फ्रीज कर देता है आइसिस यस यही होता है यू डिजर्व इट यू हेट इट दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंस सो एनीथिंग टू ऐड टू दैट कुशल लाइक इन द सेंस कि जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आपने बैन कर दी लोगों को आपने जेल में डाल दिया बट ये jo the the part that abhijit was talking about about creating a bulwark about creating a critical mass that can act as a buffer against the most extreme the more extreme elements uh, jaisa ki hindutva movement ne already create karke rakha hua hai i believe personally hmm. and so us usko create karne ke liye jo jis tarah ke steps assam mein liye ja rahe hain ya up mein liye ja rahe hain wo theek hai ya would you recommend something else what what would you recommend See, eventually, uh, along with this, there has to be some level of outreach to pro-India Muslim organizations, and the government has to actively make uh, efforts to put them at the forefront and try to give them inroads into Muslim society. What happens is that when it comes to dealing with this problem, all I see is government and uh, defensive maneuvers. defensive maneuvers in in terms of banning mm. organizations identifying people and just trying to control the menace but controlling the menace is only one part of the problem eventually we need good organizations going out and out you know those out what are our outreach programs to muslim youth you have mm. to make bring them in the mainstream and see the demographic that gets part into terror that takes part in terrorism in kashmir or in all these organizations is extremely young people yeah young impressionable minds and we need good organizations to de-radicalize these young kids also and i think on the de-radicalization yeah so the de-radicalization <laughs> program may i'm not saying this government is bad or good i'm saying the worldwide all governments are failing in the de-radicalization bit hmm. like i'll give you an example of uk right uk used to work with kuliam foundation which was run by majid nawaz and many yeah. other people right they used to try to de-radicalize muslim youth but clearly in spite of the good work kuliam <laughs> did 
it barely had any reach yeah. so how yeah. does one how does one de-radicalize people and bring them into the mainstream and make them feel that they are part of indian society is also something I, i'm not saying i have the answer so i'm actually throwing it out to the people and experts to think about it that while you do this this is absolutely mm. necessary you need to de-radicalize these people how do we do that i don't know yeah. i'm saying i don't know yeah i mean i, I do Look, think he, yeah go ahead go ahead abhijit and then there's no guaranteed way of de-radicalization uh because see even if you de-radicalize the individual it's the ghetto you live in and things like that one mm-hmm. of the main things about de-radicalization is de-ghettoization but then how do you de-ghettoize see in england and in france you have these blue collar uh, uh banlieues in paris or gre- green uh, sorry blue collar banlieues in paris or blue collar uh, uh uh localities in england like this uh, uh the the lester riots that happened happened in a one mile radius on mm. one little area on one little street that's about a mile long mm. which is overwhelmingly blue collar yeah. so even if you de-radicalize one person the net societal effect on you will be one of radicalization mm. right so it you you can't do it individually it's it's like or do it the way say uh, abu dhabi and the emirates did which now saudi arabia is trying to replicate have a generational change uh, give them jobs so that they don't have time to go around on the streets yeah. and shit that uh, have a very strong brutal security presence so there's the deterrent value there is the carrots for compliance and you put the fear of god into the mullahs and the muezzins who are radicalizing you mm. okay even there you are going to have these small cells of people who will continue radicalization but the quantum will reduce massively mm. yeah i think that's true i i, I just i got distracted by the, by what kushal sent so i just want to show it to the audience really quickly as well kahan gaya yaar uh he that's just how... shared this in the... ha aap dikha 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 what an enlightening what an what an enlightening tweet aur turant aa bhi gaya tha 5 minute ke andar andar aa gaya hmm ye dikhata hai ki log kitne dil hain nepal se roo nikal gayi and nice one nice one yeah but i i like the part that you before we go on to meme review i did like the part that you said about uh, the outreach outreach wali jo baat aapne boli hai and uh, propping up supporting dissenting muslim voices wali bhi part bahut zaruri hai because i think it was a com- it was a national shame aap hindu hain muslim hain sikh hain jo bhi hain it is a national shame jo saad ansari ke sath hua saad ansari put his neck out there you know he knew he knew what he was saying was extremely dangerous he hoped against hope ki usko shayad kuch support mil jayega maybe he'll be able to say what was on his mind and get away with it but it did not happen rss yeah. bjp with one of the biggest organizations in the world who should have thrown their entire political and you know uh, organizational weight behind saad ansari did not do so correct and i thought this was a huge opportunity missed but if there is an opportunity it lies with the sadan saris that are out there that you know that have enough balls to stick their neck out in extremely like abhijit said get away society par dekhte hain there was one interesting question from sg hi sir why nobody protests in saudi arabia for hijab ban beta saudi arabia <laughs> nbs has uh, removed the hijab it is no longer compulsory out there hmm theek hai na तो कोई कोई हिजाब है नहीं उधर आजकल हाँ. अगर आप पहनना चाहते हो और वहां ज्यादा प्रोटेस्ट करोगे तो बंदूक हाँ, हो तो जाता है बट बट बेसिकली उधर देयर इज नो कंपल्शन फॉर हिजाब एनीमोर यू गो लुक एट फोटोज कमिंग आउट ऑफ सऊदी अरेबिया विमेन आर वॉकिंग अराउंड इन शॉर्ट्स इन द पब्लिक पार्क्स एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट हम्म हम्म या पीपल आर आस्किंग डस चाइना हैव द राइट सॉल्यूशन नहीं China is not never, in fact see you think it's the right solution for now you wait 5 10 years down the line and you see what the consequences of this are going to be because even the uh, uh non radicalized 
Muslims out there who would have been yeah. quite significant because remember, I mean, technically look at it, boss. All of us watching this Sham Sharma show at the moment, including the three of us jokers, think of yourself from the morning. You live in uh, air-conditioned houses in summer, uh, uh, heated houses in winter. Uh, you get hot water on demand. You get gas on demand. Mm. You don't have to go looking for cooking fuel. You can buy things online, which gets delivered to you. You can go from one place to another in a car in great ease. You can fly from one part of the world to another part in great ease. Even hundred years back, a king would yeah. not have had the quality of life that an average middle class person today does. Even a king would not have that. Yeah. Okay. So understand how much life has improved. Now, this was a Central Asian backwater, which is now increased to $10,000 per capita income. A lot of people, like I've seen in Tibet, a lot of people, when I traveled there, were completely incentivized in that system. Mm. What they did not like was the capriciousness of Chinese troops. Yeah. Because they're very corrupt also, understand? Hmm. Uh, because when there is no checks and balances, corruption boom, becomes huge. Even those people after going to a uh, 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 labor camp, hmm. you would be mad to not get radicalized. Yeah. Okay, a lot of people, there are study after study after study, which shows you that these camps only lead to further radicalization. Yeah. Yeah, and is is the USSR, does the USSR set any kind of precedent? Because, you know, the, I don't know if, if the USSR did exactly what China is doing in Xinjiang, but they did, you know, they did something similar in the sort of erstwhile Muslim areas of their empire, whatever you want to call it. But uske baad bhi, itne saal tak indoctrination karne ke baad bhi, tuthi gaya na USSR? No, but look, see, that first of all was a different time. Okay. Uh, the Soviet, when the Soviets came, remember, they did not improve living standards. In the first few years of the Soviet Union, the living standards declined massively. Remember the famines and things like that that happened, right? Hmm. <clears throat> so what they did and remember, uh, 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 China's Mao Zedong's pogroms yeah. were never carried out in Xinjiang and Ningxia and Gansu and all the Muslim majority provinces. Mm. They were overwhelmingly carried out in the Han provinces. Whereas Stalin, what he did was he wiped out entire communities and changed the entire demographic. Do you understand? Isn't that the what? attempt in Xinjiang as well? Huh? Isn't that the attempt in Xinjiang as well? No, uh, incarceration is not. A forced famine would be. The question is, do you want to go down that path? Because once you go down that path, what prevents you from going down that path with every problem? Every problem then becomes an opportunity at genocide. Mm. Right. But yeah. this one is going to boomerang very badly. We are no longer in an age where you can just murder millions of people. Yeah. yeah. So what the Soviets did was much worse, quite different. And what See, it's important to remember what happened after that. When Khrushchev and people like that come after Stalin, there was a visible, huge improvement in living standards. So you put the bad times behind you and now you suddenly have a huge <clears throat> amount of good times. You've broken down family structures, social structures and things like that. And mm -hmm. then you have the good times. Okay. Yeah. Here, during the good times, you have thrown them into jail. Yeah. See, there's also a sequence to these things. Stalin made a huge mistake. Uh, he never in succeeded incidentally with the Chechens. He was most brutal to the Chechens. And even to this day, you know, Uzbeks and Kazakhstan never suffered like the Chechens. It's <laughs> make America great again. Ho gaye. Yes, <laughs> MAGA. MAGA. <laughs> Texas, <laughs> mein bhul gaya. Texas, mein MAGA. Texas, MAGA. MAGA. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I, I am politically correct now. I just got reminded that I am in Texas. I have to wear a topi in Texas. I have to wear a topi in Texas. I have to wear a topi in Portland. I have to wear a topi in Tifa. Wala. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, uh, 
there were huge 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 differences in what happened mm. if you deliver good times after particularly bad times you may actually get away with it you could possibly mm. all right mimri mimi review kare kya uske baad we have a few questions we'll take those yes chalo okay. mimi start karte hain first Let's one do is it. first one is by door acrobatic 259 it is called chat dad on sham sharma show reddit chat dad chat dad chat dad chat chat kon hai chat dad bhai ye wale chat dad are kya kar rahe chat dad daddy is being very bad अरे बहुत दुख हो रहा है डैडी को अंकल ये अंकल की हरकत देखो निकल मेरे घर से निकल शाबाश शाबाश डैड वेरी बैड अंकल वेरी बैड अंकल अच्छा अभी नेक्स्ट वाला है ट्विटर पे कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ मीम्स इंडिया एट मीमिस्ट सच मिनिस्टर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ मीम्स ये बढ़िया नाम है देखें जरा कौन बनाता है सब रील भाई कौन बना ये ओरिजिनल नहीं मैं ये जानना चाहता हूँ कि ये ओरिजिनल रील किसने बनाया चुतिया पब्लिक है हमारी भी यार अरे यार टाइमिंग सही होती है पब्लिक की कार ढूंढ के निकालते हैं ढूंढ ढूंढ के निकालते हैं और लिखा भी सही है सोना भास्कर फेडिसुसा राणा यूब लिखा भी एकदम एकदम परफेक्ट लेबल भी किया है मीम को हाँ ब्यूटीफुल वेल डन इस बाय सेटायर सार्थी जस्ट एस प्रेडिक्टेड है इस जम्मू कश्मीर लिबरेशन फ्रंट पॉपुलर फ्रंट ऑफ इंडिया सब तेजा है मार्क्स से फर्क नहीं पड़ता सला आई नेवर नोटिस दिस आई नेवर नोट आई नेवर न्यू व्हाट जेकेएलएफ फ्लैग लुक लाइक इट्स तो बेसिकली सेम है सब तेजा है मार्क्स से फर्क नहीं पड़ता शिट तेजा मैं हूं बाहर किधर है ओके ये नेक्स्ट वन इज ऑन श्याम शर्मा शो रेडिट बाय डिलीटेड यू डिलीटेड जस्ट लिसन टू हिम ओके सुन लेते हैं अच्छा क्या बोल रहा है भाई सुनाओ सुन रहे सुन सुना अरे चुप कर तू खराब कर दी ठंडा ला ये कौन है भाई दिस अबोमिनेशन पाकिस्तान लग रहा है ये तो हां पाकिस्तान कौन है हमारे हमेशा अपने नौजवानों को बताता हूं मौलाना रूमी कहते हैं कि जब अल्लाह ने तुम्हें पढ़ दिए तो चूंटियों की तरह जमीन पर क्यों रिंग रहे हो अच्छा इस सिंह इस सिंह चूंटियों चूंटियों यार वो चीटियों को चूंटियों कर दिया वो पाकिस्तानी पंजाबी एक्सेंट है यार कम ऑन बी फेयर और फनी बात तो ये कि पंजाबी है भी नहीं इज नॉट पंजाबी ना हां नियासी पंजाबी लेकिन बोलता पंजाबी की तरह है He speaks with a weird Punjabi ah, accent. He's not even Punjabi himself. Ah, ah. तो चूतियों की तरह. अच्छा. Next है. ज़मीन पे क्यों रहे? तो चूतियों की तरह. ये Twitter वाला है. Lavana Sur at Roshan Tastic. Chad Amit Shah. Amit Bhai. Amit Bhai. Amit Bhai का बस है. Amit Bhai हर चार दिन में आकर सबकी लेके चले जाते हैं. जिंदगी में चलना है तो वरना अच्छी तरह चलती है और एरिया में कोई भी इंटरेस्ट नहीं करूंगा भाई ओके चार दिन की जिंदगी चार दिन से पहले अपना एरिया साफ कर दूंग
जानना चाहता हूँ ये राइट साइड में कौन आदमी है <laughs> टट्टा इडली खा के चौड़ा होके बैठा हुआ है क्रिंज शाह सही लिखा जी ने एपीओ क्या एपीओ डब्ल्यू बी ई टू अभी ये क्या होता है पता नहीं ये A-P-O-W-B-E-2. क्या होता है भाई ए सफेद कपड़ा <laughs> oh, ये टाइटल है उसका ए सफेद कपड़ा ए सफेद कपड़ा अभी राजस्थान जाकर सचिन पायलट को उसकी अंतरात्मा की आवाज सुनाता हूँ अंतरात्मा की आवाज सुनाता हूँ शाबाश यार ये पता नहीं कहाँ से फोटो निकाली है किसने निकाली है बट ये इतना ट्विटर पे देखा है इस फोटो को मैंने रिसेंटली अंतरात्मा की आवाज सुना था अंतरात्मा की आवाज यार घर पे बैठ के मोटा भाई निकल पड़े अच्छा नेक्स्ट शाम शर्मा शो रेडिट पे सोनू अंडरस्कोर चिकना और टाइटल है सरकार से आपकी क्या समस्या है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ये वीडियो गौर फरमाइए अमित शाह नूरानी सरकार से आपकी क्या समस्या है अच्छा सरकार से आपकी क्या क्या समस्या है हेलो अरे सरकार से आपकी क्या क्या समस्या है अगला आदमी बोलेगा तब ना हम बोलेंगे सरकार से आपकी क्या क्या समस्या है हाँ सर हेलो अरे सरकार से आपकी क्या क्या समस्या है बोलिए क्या मैं अगला आदमी बोलेगा तब ना हम बोलेंगे जवाब बोल क्यों नहीं रहा उधर से क्या इनोसेंस है आई लव इट अगला आदमी बोलेगा तब ना हम बोलेंगे बेकार आदमी एट द रेट बेकार आदमी आपदा में अवसर ओके देखो आपदा में क्या अवसर है आपदा में अवसर क्या है हाँ जी गवर्नमेंट बैनिंग पी एफ आई वक्फ बोर्ड डिस्कसिंग हाउ दे कैन अक्वायर लर्न जोन बाई ये मेरा फेवरेट है आज का आपदा में भी अफसर है चलो कोई बात नहीं पीएफआई बैन हो गया जमीन तो मिल जाएगी <laughs> <laughs> क्या एक्सप्रेशन है यार दिस दिस अमेजिंग टू बी द बेस्ट वन ये ये मेरा फेवरेट है हंड्रेड परसेंट ये किस किसने डाला ये बेकार आदमी ऑन ट्विटर बेकार आदमी ये आदमी भी बेकार है ना, ना भी बेकार आदमी है भाई वेल डन वेल डन फेवरेट मीम कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर मिनिस्टर ऑफ मीम्स इंडिया मीमिनिस्ट अनएम्प्लॉयड पी एफ आई मेंबर्स आफ्टर पी एफ आई बैन क्या लोग है हमारे देश में अबे यार नौकरी तो चली गई नौकरी चली गई इंस्टाग्राम इन्फ्लुएंसर बनते हैं चल के चलो बाप माँ बाप तो जेल चले गए ये देखो ये कौन हराम ज्यादा अंबिका दास और इसका टाइटल है साला अपन अकेले को ही खाना मिलेगा बाकी सब लाइन लगाओ अगर बचेगा तो दूंगा ये इतना हरामी इंसान है जिसने मेरी सैन फ्रांसिस्को की टॉप की ये फोटो लगा दी इधर कुत्ते कभी 
सारे लाइन में लगाओ साले पहले मैं कहूंगा फिर बात करना कमीना मैं लास्ट आदमी था जिसने समोसा खाया कमीना लोग ओह माय गॉड लोगों का ये ये फॉल्स एक्यूजेशन है मेरे ऊपर फॉल्स एक्यूजेशन अच्छा ये ने ये क्या ये क्या बना दिया नकली याद तेरी आएगी मुझको बड़ा सताएगी हैशटैग पीएफआई बैंड ओ शिट क्या गंदी फोटो है तेरी आएगी मुझको बड़ा सताएगी ये देख मोटा भाई के दो तीन मीम्स आ गए इस बार ए सफेद कपड़ा मोटा ही टेक्स इट एज अ लाइसेंस टू फ्रोम नो नो दिस इज लाइक नो व्हाट एवर मिस्चिव सरदार पटेल वांटेड टू डू ही वुड ओनली डू व्हेन नेहरू लेफ्ट वे सच में अच्छा निकले हुए गंद मचाते हां ओ मैन ओके ग्रेट मीटिंग ऑन श्याम शर्मा शो आफ्टर घपा घप मोदी जी प्रेजेंट्स भमा भम आफ्टर घपा घप भमा भम ये क्या है भाई बॉयज डिस्कसिंग फर्स्ट मैं ये भगवान मेरी आत्मा कह रही थी कहीं से तो शुरू करो और मैंने ऊपर से शुरू किया और ये ऊपर ठीक हो जाएगा ना तो नीचे तो फिर आप समझ लीजिए भमा भम होने नीचे भमा भम होने वाला खानदानी कमीना आप हॉलीवुड के पीछे और बॉलीवुड सलमान भाई के पीछे ये बहुत बंदा मेरे ट्विटर पे भी देखा है ये मैंने ट्विटर पे देखा ये देखा सलमान भाई डिड इट बिफोर ये भाई ने कब किया मेरे को तो याद भी नहीं है इतनी हृष्ट पुष्ट महिला बहुत समय से हमने नहीं देखी है ये कौन सी फिल्म है कैन समी टेल मी वॉट मूवी दिस इज आई एम नो आइडिया वॉट फिल्म दिस इज आई एम नो आइडिया वॉट फिल्म दिस इज सलमान हल्क सलमान बहन ओह मैन ब्रिलियंट Uh, yeah, I have no idea what even film this is. Acha, Janeman okay, film hai. So, oh, Janeman to I think yeah, dekhi thi maine. Set Max ya kisi pe. <laughs> okay, next one is by Alarmed underscore Hall twenty two fifty six TV News, News College. Ye kya hai, bhai? Dekhte hain. Three second ka to total. Muslim is color kaha me pata hoga ya? Tumhari gaad se. ये बोलो 
सॉरी किसने आई डोंट इवन नो हु सेड इट ये सब लेकर हो आई शुड नॉट हु सेड दिस सर कैसे पैदा हो गए ए भगवान नेक्स्ट वन यार इंडियन टीवी को बीट करना बहुत मुश्किल है भारतीय टीवी को बीट करना बहुत मुश्किल है एश अंडरस्कोर ट्वेंटी टू नाइनटी नाइन ने ये फोटो डाली है और इसको लिखा है कि शाम शर्मा शो समडअप <laughs> मतलब मैं और मेरे दोस्त जो लास्ट बेंच पे करते थे उसको पॉडकास्ट बोलते <laughs> समझ गया लौंडा समझ गया यस यस अंडरस्टूड फॉर दिस पॉडकास्ट इज ऑल अबाउट माय बाय इज वेरी स्मार्ट Yes, सुधांशु इज वेरी स्मार्ट जो लोग खाली बैठ के बग चौधरी करते लास्ट बेंच पे उसको आजकल पॉडकास्ट बोला जाता है समझ गए लॉन्डे वेरी गुड वेलकम टू द पॉडकास्ट वेल डन ओके ये लास्ट वाला भी बहुत अच्छा है ये है एक मिनट ये किडनी स्टोन इन यूरिन आफ्टर यू हैव बियर ये डॉक्टर नोट टेक्निकल हो गया किडनी स्टोन इन यूरिन एक मिनट ये अभी किसी ने बना के बेचा देखो ये ट्विटर में हैंडल है लौड़े का मीमर कॉन्टेक्ट नहीं पता तो जाके पता करो अबे थोड़ा रिसर्च भी करो खुद जाके सब हम ही बता दे अच्छा ये क्या है ओके क्या सारे ने शेयर नहीं ठीक है चलो अभी क्वेश्चंस लेते हैं हो गए सारे हाँ हो गए चलो फिर क्वेश्चंस लेते हैं अगर आपके पास क्वेश्चंस है तो यार अभी डालना शुरू कर दो वन अभी किसने डाला था ये 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 अभिजीत के लिए है अभिजीत डू यू सी एनी डेमोग्राफिक एनी सिग्निफिकेंट डेमोग्राफिक चेंजेस इन यूरोप इन द इयर्स टू कम दिस इज फ्रॉम अंकुर uh not so much in terms of religion uh of course religion will play a role in it but more in terms of uh <clears throat> an aging population combined with the need for youth where immigration becomes important mm. see japan never resorted to immigration to cure its demographic this thing europe has no choice but to do that mm. okay and all moving towards immigration 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 so it will become an issue what you will see is the need for immigration into europe you could have done it slowly like america does based on america australia canada on a points based system america doesn't have a points based system but they do have a needs based system kind of thing yeah the uh, more uh, anti immigration you get from unwanted immigration and the need to sort out your demographic problem is going to lead to a lot of internal conflict it will be on the issue of immigration and because of demographics hmm i've seen this question a lot and uh, you know jab jab bhi deradicalization ki baat hoti hai kahin par bhi to i see i see this question a lot that kushal talking about uh, deradicalization is ex- extremely naive 
how can you de-radicalize when someone's holy book is uh, you know is the source of many problems that exist within that community and i've seen that comment often and while i partially agree with it there is also the example of the christians in in europe i mean the christians are not going around exploding even though they still you know might might believe ki heathens are bad or ye wo all of that but they're not going around exploding they're not going around beheading people they're not going around putting their women in burkas or you know dressing them modestly whatever it might be or so, jews in israel what's that or jews in israel or jews in israel yeah hmm. or jews outside of bloody israel yeah anywhere yeah so okay let me let me ask you this uh, ye kisne sawal pucha hai this is from shri harsh okay shri harsh i am going to give you two examples in hinduism ab tu bata isme tera kitab ka radicalization hai ki nahi नंबर वन शिशुपाल शिशुपाल ने कितना गाली दिया कृष्ण भगवान को और कृष्ण भगवान ने उसका सर तन से जुदा किया है या ना <laughs> तो गुस्ता के कृष्ण का एक ही सजा सर तन से जुदा सर तन से जुदा ना बट हिंदू गो अराउंड डूइंग सर तन से जुदा द रिलीजियस जस्टिफिकेशन एग्जिस्ट बट वाई डू हिंदूज नॉट डू दैट Now let me interpret it a different way for you. <clears throat> He insulted Krishna, and it was Krishna's prerogative to chop off his head. It is not your prerogative, who are citizens of Dwaraka, to chop off Shishupal's head. Mm. Yeah. Okay. This is one way of interpreting it. That tere ko jo ana hai, wo Krishna Bhagwan tere ko directly denge. But second. Prophet was only prophet of God. Krishna to khud Bhagwan the. Hmm. So this isn't revealed text. This is the divine action, and therefore you must do it. Notice, I can spin this any way I want. Hmm. Abharata, I can spin it any any way I want. Property dispute hai tere aur tere bhai ka. Tu ja ke usko mar dal, uske bachon ko mar dal, sab saw bachon ko. Or, wo raj dharm hai, ye swadharm hai. You can't do it. Hmm. I can spin it any way I want. Similarly, in the Quran, I can give you lots of things where there is all talk of forgiveness, lovey dovey, whatever, whatever, whatever. So it's a society. Every religion, without exception, will give you enough to forgive and enough to punish. And you have the example of the Christians in India as well. ठीक है इनकी conversion activities हैं ये rice bag वाला जो that that whole meme. एंड कर रहे हैं देर आर सर्टन एरियाज विद इन इंडिया जहां पर इनकी रेडिकलाइजेशन है थोड़ी फॉर एग्जाम्पल कन्याकुमारी थर्ड वर्ल्ड क्रिस्टानिटी युगेंडा केनिया एंड प्लेसेज लाइक दैट इज कैरी एज हेल यू नो होमोफोबिया इन नाइजीरिया केनिया एंड ऑल दो प्लेसेज इफ दे नो योर गे दे विल कम दे विल ड्राइव इट इज लाइक आइसिस का अलरका अंडर आइसिस ओके सो देर एंड देन यू हैव यूरोप रोड पे फ्री सेक्स करो गे सेक्स करो कंप्लेन अबाउट इट यूल गेट थ्रोन इन जे मोस्ट प्रॉबली फॉर हेट स्पीच और वॉट एवर So, if the Christians can do it, why do we expect that the Muslims don't have the capacity to do it? Now, the they're Muslims not any lesser than the Christians in any manner. I remember when I first started traveling to Turkey. Turkey, me, sab kuch chalta tha. Hmm. Till Erdogan came. Okay. Uh, you take UAE itself. They're the seven crucial states. What Rasul Khaima Sharja, uh, Umal Koen, Ajman, uh, 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 Abu Dhabi, Dubai. इसमें शारजा में एक जमाने में सब कुछ मिलता था पोर्क सासेजेस मिलते थे बॉलीवुड दाऊद इब्राहिम के साथ क्रिकेट मैच देखती थी कैंपेन <laughs> सब पीते थे रंडीबाजी सब करते थे yeah. जो जो चाहे होता था टुडे शारजा इज पोअर एज हेल इट इज रिग्रेस्ड इन टू शारिया लॉ अबूधाबी एंड दुबई आर प्रोग्रेस सो फार दे नाउ हैव ओपनली हैव हिंदू टेम्पल्स और जब वो कोविड के टाइम वो जब तगली थूक मारा था लोगों पे तो क्या हो रहा था वो यूएई में बैठ के गाली दे रहे थे 
some companies under social media pressure cancelled people's visas and things but did anyone get arrested mm nahi na so yeah. you can also go that way boss so even in the muslim world these examples exist yeah okay as a rule yes monotheism lends itself to much more uh uh black and white than polytheism that tends to favor shades of gray yeah but even there europe and america are any day a lot freer than india is ajay tiwari is asking since you spoke about turkey he is asking do you see erdogan losing 2023 elections oh, iska no? na bahut is so i'll tell you how this started okay uh the the problem always was there when kamal ataturk so called modernized <laughs> turkey it wasn't a consensual process it was shoved down people's mm. throats okay and he was a genocidal maniac people don't yeah. talk about this but erdogan uh, uh, kamal ataturk was totally bloody genocidal he was complicit in the genocide of the armenians he was <clears throat> he carried out his own kurdish genocide and things like that etc 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 now what happens is uh, because of how brutal military rule was and the military used to keep interfering and removing governments mm. nobody dared talk about it so you had the extremely modernized westernized mediterranean turkey and anatolia which is to say inland eastern turkey was horribly backward and horribly poor mm. and that is where all the islamic governments that used to keep getting voted in and then removed subsequently by coups came in Mm. Erdogan did something very smart. What he said was, "We want to join the EU. We want to become more." He, like you know, Mamta had to out communist the communists to win West Bengal. Yeah. He out secularized <clears throat> the so-called secularists to win Turkey. Usne yeah. bola, "We will EU join. Karenge. Therefore, we need human rights. We need respect for law. This that." He knew full well EU will never give him membership. But what he did was. he because he made it about the european union he caught up the army its own rhetorical action trap that if we do a coup we set back the eu membership process which we have said we want to become and that is our platform not erdogan's platform for the last uh, we'll set it back by 15 to 20 years at least after a coup mm. so he caught them in that trap he tried extremely hard to get into the eu knowing full well he will not get in and he used it to castrate the army okay and then he went after the army and they couldn't do anything because then how do you justify a coup yeah fir tum nange ho jaoge na sabke samne hmm and and because he built the first things that he did was built up trade so the army was also so incentivized in trade that all the sanctions jo lagte agar coup hota paisa kho jata so they didn't know what to do yaar main power lu ya paisa kho du power lu ya paisa kho du and finally they lost power and they ultimately lost their money also that's a different matter yeah but created that doubt in their mind and so he took it over now the thing is rural anatolia anatolia remains rural and they tend to vote overwhelmingly and you know what is a bizarre thing the kurds hmm. tend to vote overwhelmingly for erdogan oh ah yeah because Achha. don't forget people like mesut ozil are kurd mesut ozil is oh, a kurd a... oh oh yeah he's a kurd Achha, so kurds so you you know you you get this impression from iraqi kurds that or syrian kurds that they're very progressive some of them are hmm. there is this dark side to the kurds salahuddin was a kurd you know saladin versus richard hmm. the he was a kurd yeah so uh, uh, you know uh, there is this dark side to that as well where there is this sort of uh, uh, he now has a hold on the rural population and the worse things get for turkey the more and more they depend on what is familiar to them and their familiar faces so win or lose erdogan is not going to lose 2023 as far oh. as i can tell unless something has dramatically shifted that we don't know about because he's crushed the press out there so there's no real reporting coming yeah. out there Uh, a similar question is from Dilip, who's asking, "What do you guys think is the future of the Iran Burka struggle?" I thought it was very interesting because, I mean, recently there's a Nations League like soccer tournament going on, football tournament, and the the Iranian team, which I don't think I have ever seen this before, but the entire Iranian team stood in support of Masa Amini. I don't think I've seen such a public display against. 
uh, enforced burqa or <coughs> in favor of a woman that is stood up against the burqa so a burqa struggle in iran doesn't resonate with anyone except people in say tehran or isfahan okay uh, we make the mistake of assuming that what is important to us is important to them mm-hmm. okay uh, what was the real dangerous thing for the regime was in fact the protest that you saw through 2016 17 was it 15 16 17 yes. yeah 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 it was a really bad economic time yeah where uh, or 14 15 i forget now but sometime around that time because there what happened was they lost faith in the entire political system because there what happens is it's the king's loyal guard and the king's loyal rather the uh, uh, ayatollah's loyal guard and the ayatollah's loyal opposition hmm सब मिले हुए हैं सब एक दूसरे की बुराई करते हैं पर दिन में सिस्टर रात में बिस्तर की तरह सब बिस्तर में दैट वाज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट एन अल्टरनेट पावर सेंटर इमर्ज्ड ऑन द ग्रास रूट्स लेवल व्हिच वाज एक्सट्रीमली डेंजरस एंड इट वाज क्रश्ड वेरी वेरी ब्रूटली दिस वन इज नोवेयर नियर दैट डेंजरस डू यू थिंक दैट देयर इज एनी प्रोलिफरेशन बिटवीन द टू के जो ये एंटी गवर्नमेंट प्रोटेस्ट हैं देयर मिक्सिंग विद द एंटी हिजाब प्रोटेस्ट no they fundamentally we will not because remember iran is fundamentally a largely rural extremely conservative society yeah okay so people who actually uh, rose up for price rises and things like that against the iranian government then will hate these protesters interesting to beg herat or kya beg herat or beg herat yeah mm your views on georgia meloni from italy I, the new she's anti gay so i'm sorry but i yeah like yeah that's the thing and and we were we were it was interesting because you know the, the point again becomes that why does uh, the western right wing why is it why is georgia maloney who's only been in power for like two days how is she able to communicate or or get herself into the western media to such a large extent whereas the indian right wing can't do so I think the difference is key a Georgia Maloney is white Georgia Maloney is Christian and Georgia Maloney is pretty stridently anti LGBTQ and anti abortion so uh, and that does help she speaks even if she speaks in Italian she speaks a language that the west understands hmm our chutias go there and talk about do you know about chanakya do you know we had pushkata vimana the boeing 77 was actually pushkata vimana and boeing was actually one of the wheels of the pushpaka vimana the other wheel was airbus the yeah. two wheels one fell in europe when the pushpaka vimana <laughs> destroyed one wheel fell in uh, uh, europe one wheel fell in america it fell in seattle and became boeing another fell in <laughs> fell in boeing and became airbus yeah chutia baat karoge to yahi natija hoga she knows mm. how to talk to their right wing our people do not first of all our right wing wants to talk to their left wing our right wing doesn't even want to talk to their right wing I mean, they want to be accepted by their left wing really badly. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct. ठीक है. So ये ही इनका problem है. Number one. Hmm. Number two, the thing about Georgia Meloni is, I wonder if you saw Matteo Renzi's interview with CNN. Matteo Renzi is the former PM. He's left. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And he really, uh, he he gave it back to CNN. He said, you know, uh, we may have our political differences, but you can't go around calling her a fascist and things yeah. like that. That uh, you know, Italian democracy is in danger because uh, Giorgia Meloni is PM. Yeah. Up to our papu ko dek. If yeah, I did see that, but that's the difference, right? Democracy is at an end. Democracy mar gaya udhar jaldi nahi chal raha. That's the difference. Yeah, there's a huge difference. Well, that's the difference between a country that. has a certain level of confidence in itself and a, a group of people that have no confidence in themse- in themselves who are confidence. completely reliant on western approval for Talking them to exist i want you to check wo jo ek food blogger tha na carl urban or something like that who got banned from india because he took part in political protests oh I, ha yeah i think yeah. i saw something about that in hindustan mein all the programs we watch are wanting white people to come to india eat our food and tell us how good it is <laughs> so sab chutiyo ne amritsar mein ja ke golden temple mein langar khana shuru kiya yeah. fir take da hatti mein ja ke butter chicken khana shuru kiya <laughs> fir chetinad mama ke restaurant mein ja ke chetinad kha ke humko batayenge saale ki hamara khana kaisa hai <laughs> italy mein tum sab food program dekho yeah 
pasta grannies, Italia squisita, uh, mm. ye, uh, uh, pasta grammar and all these people. Mm. There they go commenting on other people cooking Italian food and their comment always is tum is ko, negative. Ko, tum kuch nahi yeah. Yeah. That I mean, that, tell you yeah. one country, it, it's a small country. Italy is a small country. Yeah. They don't have, they don't project power. They don't really, they they believe in living a good life. They're not really interested in international geopolitics. Udar kis, uh, the biggest news of the day is which Catholic padre raped which little boy, <laughs> which, uh, 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 which auntie went and smashed the uh, neighbor's window and things like that. This is what makes news out there. Yeah. One auntie came and put the other fiat ko jala dala. Kyon, yeah. ki usne, uh, kuch uske, uh, nimbu chori kiye the ya uske olives chori kiye the. Mm. This is what becomes big news out there. Now, in an environment like that, they still project so much confidence. You, on the other hand, are a country of 1.3 billion people. Jo bhencho mm. abhi bhi gore logon ka gand chaatne mein lage hoye. Yeah. Right, I from, think, right from the bottom, right up to the top to the Prime Minister's office. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it does help it, Italy in the sense that Western Europe, Northern Europe, which is which has been culturally dominant over the last century or so, they have so fully and completely adopted, you know, pagan Italian culture. So, you have to confidence that you have to say 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 yeah. Basically. And you know, people don't realize this, but what is we know as Italian is actually yeah. Greek. The original Roman gods yeah. were very different. You know, what we today know as the Roman pantheon, Zeus, Jupiter, uh, sorry, Jupiter, Minerva, things like that, were all Greek imports. Mm. They worshipped different gods before. You know, at a point of time, the uh, uh, Italian nobility, the Roman nobility, the patricians, only used to speak Greek amongst themselves. Yeah. The Roman Senate had to ban Greek yep. in order to prevent, and even that did not work because the nobles used to talk to each other in Greek. Yeah. It was the language of refinement. And even today, if you study the grammar of the two languages, you will note it Latin is a language that lends itself to legality, Greek is a language that lends itself to philosophy. They're fundamentally different in their structure and the way the words are structured. Isn't that how even the Italians saw themselves? The Romans saw themselves as the sort of the fighters, no nonsense kind of people. And they saw yeah. the Greeks as like weak philosophers. That's how yes. the Romans so, saw each other too. So the joke was the Greeks invented sex and the Italians introduced <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this, that's how they saw it. Abhijit, what's your view on Liz Truss's announcement of taking in more immigrants into the United Kingdom? How is it going to affect the Indian Hindus living there? But did she say anything about like illegal immigration? I don't think so. She didn't say that anyone will come. You say, I think it, it, immigration is a pillar of uh, Britain and Britain's policy of miscagadation. However, it must be executed in a way where Britain gets what it wants and not simply what the other countries are simply willing to give away, you see. Mm. We cannot become the world's garbage dump. We need to be a sieve, a sieve that chooses the finest and the best. And mm. that's what British greatness will be built on. British greatness. <laughs> um... Deepen Das, let's take this last one. Deepen Das is asking, how do you think the election of a far-right party in Italy impact the rest of Europe politically? Um, because Eastern Europe... All, means, are they far-right? Are they far-right is the first question you need to ask. Yeah, like how do you define far-right? <laughs> if you define far-right in the sense that uh, they're anti-LGBTQ and they're anti-abortion... No, no. Then they're so, basically just right. right. Ka, for, no, no. For right ka qualifying criteria to hona chahi, Italy only for white people. Na? Yeah. yeah. Or that we don't election nahi hone denge iske baad. Hmm. Which they're not. That's not what they're uh, saying. Which incidentally is also a leftist plank. Uh, we will not allow you to have another election. Hmm. Mm, because the people, the proletariat, the, the, uh, the dictatorship of the proletariat has begun. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, First, is it truly right-wing? 
they have unpopular policy positions, which is why Ursula von der Leyen made that statement saying if it goes a certain way, we have certain tools like we've used with Poland and Hungary, which we mm. will use against Italy. Now, uh, the thing about her is it's you see this push back against Europe. And I think though what she said, I think Ursula's statement was taken out of context because she was talking specifically about abortion rights and LGBTQ rights. And she she and you know that is mainly based on what the sanctions against Poland and Hungary are about. Yeah. The thing here is does the EU really want to provoke that kind of a backlash? Because you know you how many people within the EU are you going to alienate? Britain to tere ko chodke chala gaya. A Poland ne decide kar liya ki wo teri maiya chodega. Fir Hungary ne decide kar liya wo teri maiya chodega. Ab Italy ko bhi majboor kar doge te ho tumhari maiya chodne ke liye. To bhai bachega kya? And now, you know, it's no longer this thing. You remember that famous statement that Donald Rumsfeld made. There is the old Europe, which is all these Western countries. And then there is the new Europe. It is the new Europe that is reading the backlash against of conservative values against uh, 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 the West. Yeah. And now Italy, which was one of the core founding members of the EU, is saying, screw you. Did you see what it's she said to France? Do you remember? Did you see that interview where she gave that speech against Macron? Who, Meloni? Meloni tore Macron a new one. Have you seen that one? I'll play that one yeah. for you in case you haven't seen it. Like the point yeah, that you're yeah. making that they're very anti EU, I think can be uh, Meloni Macron. Let me see if I can find that one. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty s- strong speech. Here it is. Uh, this is from Wall Street Silver. Let me just play this clip for you. You'll get an idea of how, what she actually thinks. Uh, all right. Emmanuel Macron, qui a défini qui vomitait vos lits, chinichi, irresponsabili. Et qui la stampa italiana a dire, eh, hai visto che ha detto Macron, che siamo irresponsabili. Vergogna. Irresponsabili Emmanuel Macron, sono quelli che hanno bombardato la Libia perché gli dava fastidio che l'Italia avesse un rapporto privilegiato in campo energetico con Gheddafi esponendoci al caos migrazione nel quale ci troviamo cinici Emmanuel Macron sono i francesi che mandano la gendarmerie a rispedire indietro qualunque immigrato tenti di passare il confine a Ventimiglia ma soprattutto perché le cose vanno raccontate come si deve vomitevole E chi co- Bono, credo che tu. Ci hai tolto il padre. Vomit- vomitevole. E chi, come la Francia, continua a sfruttare l'Africa stampando moneta per 14 nazioni africane sulle quali applica il signoraggio facendo lavorare bambini nelle miniere bambini estraendo materie prime come accade in Niger dove la Francia estrae il 30% dell'uranio che gli serve a far camminare le centrali nucleari e il 90% dei nigerini vive senza elettricità non ci venire a fare lezioni Macron perché l'Africa scappa da voi e la soluzione non è spostare gli africani in Europa è liberare l'Africa da certi europei brava 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 Chiaro? Chiaro. <laughs> yeah, so I think Fantastic. it's safe to share. She's, She's not a huge fan. Ye dekho, ye kitna self-confidence lagta hai yeah. to say fuck you to Macron. Yeah. Hmm. You try getting a single bloody Indian leader to give a speech like that, they'll talk about, oh, you know, Indian culture. <laughs> You are 5,000 years old, sir. How old you are? You are a child. 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 You are a child.
आजकल जयशंकर जी बोल रहे हैं ना बाहर जाके थोड़ा 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 बोलना शुरू किया उन्होंने बट प्रमोद महाजन मेन ही रैन दी आउटरीच फॉर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी ऑफिस उसी दिन उन जर्नलिस्ट को बुलाया जाता था पब्लिक में उनकी पैंट उतारी जाती थी Here, sub esoteric in principle, ye hai. Mm. You, th- th- there are no questions asked. Mm. Macron cannot have a comeback to this. Yeah. Because everything there. Oh, everything she said politics. is true. That's correct. No, forget the truth. What Jay Shankar said is also true, but it is esoteric. Mm. This, these are specifics. Yeah. It is picking out very very specific points. Do you understand? There's a huge difference. Hmm. अच्छा. अब I think we have to close today's podcast on this very important news. क्या हो क्या? The government of India uh, has blocked 63 porn sites slash URLs in India as per an order of Ministry of Communications. Mihir Jha says, "Na dekhunga, na dekhne dunga." Na dekhne dunga. क्या बीमारी है? क्या बीमारी है ये दिस इज द स्टूपिडेस्ट थिंग आई हैव टू से दिस हैज टू बी द दिस इज अ वियर्ड थिंग आई फील लाइक दैट दे हैव कोऑप्टेड फ्रॉम लाइक अमेरिकन राइट विंग अमेरिकन राइट विंग इज लाइक एक्सट्रीमली एंटी पॉर्न फॉर सम रीजन इट्स सच एन इनसेल इट्स सच एन इनसेल माइंडसेट इट्स अ वियर्ड इनसेल माइंडसेट दैट इंडिया हैज इंपोर्टेड दैट आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड सो यू नो द थिंग हियर इज दिस इज एन एंटी इंडिया गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज़ पॉर्न इज फंडामेंटली इंडियन देखते भी सबसे ज्यादा यही वाले हैं ना देखते भी तो साले सबसे ज्यादा यही हैं बाहर वाली वेबसाइट सारे इंडियन ही चला रहे हैं एग्जैक्टली यू आर हाउ कैन यू बैन एंड सच एन इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन कल्चर लाइक सविता भाभी सविता भाभी इज एज इंडियन सविता भाभी इज एज इंडियन एज आम का अचार एज आम का अचार या एज मूली का पराठा और आलू का पराठा और गोभी का पराठा Yeah. To ban Savita Babi is to ban <laughs> aloo kapara. To yeah. ban Savita Babi is to ban the samosa. <laughs> yes, corn was invented in India six thousand nine hundred. Sixty nine hundred years ago. <laughs> yes, sixty nine, sixty nine hundred years ago. Correct, correct. You go learn that. Hami ne invent kia tha corn. Yeah. And the country that gave the world the Kama Sutra is cracking down on the. Now banning corn, corn sites. Yeah. ठीक है और ऑब्वियसली इन चूतियों ने वीपीएन का तो कुछ सुना नहीं है एग्जैक्टली आई डोंट नो शिट हाउ वीपीएन वर्क्स इन शिट कुछ पता होता तो है नहीं इनको पॉइंट बैन कर देते हैं ठीक है वीपीएन की सेल बढ़ जाएगी लोग वीपीएन खरीद डाउनलोड कर करके मौज करते रहेंगे आप अपना बंद कर दो पॉइंट हैं ये ले ये ही इज फ्रोजन क्या हो रहा है आई थिंक यू आर फ्रोजन कुशल हाँ अभी अभी ठीक है अभी बोलो नो माय इंटरनेट कबीर को देखो नवरात्रि का ख्याल रखो भाइयों नवरात्रि में पॉइंट बैन बट या इट्स जस्ट आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस फैसिनेशन द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट हैज विद बैनिंग पॉइंट मौके पे धोखा हाँ एंड मौके पे धोखा दे दिया परमाणु बम ने देखो ये ये होता है प्रेपरेशन इसने पहले ही दस जीबी डाउनलोड करके रखा आई सस्पेक्ट आई सस्पेक्ट दैट दिस इज अ सीक्रेट कोऑपरेशन पैक्ट बिटवीन द गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट बिग करी वीपीएन कंपनी ने गवर्नमेंट को ब्राइब दिया है पॉन बैन करने के लिए ताकि सभी वो दो डॉलर या तीन डॉलर दे वीपीएन खरीदे महीने का सब्सक्राइब है ना तो उससे वो फिर सब वीपीएन खरीदेंगे और वीपीएन का बिजनेस बढ़ेगा इधर या वेल एट आफ्टर सच अ मीनिंगफुल ग्रेट डिस्कशन आई थिंक वी बेटर लीव इट देयर एंड थैंक्स अगेन गाइस फॉर जॉइनिंग अस थैंक्स फॉर योर सपोर्ट एज यूजुअल इफ यू एंजॉय टुडेस एपिसोड एंड इफ यू वुड लाइक टू हेल्प अस कीप ग्रोइंग कीप पुटिंग आवर ऑडियंस पुटिंग आवर शो इन फ्रंट ऑफ मोर पीपल make sure to become a patron on patreon go to patreon.com/sssglobal 
and you'll find the World Nimbu order there. You can get merch there as well. That's exclusive to the patrons as well. So go support us there. Uh, and uh, we'll make some more bonus episodes for you like we made uh, this week as well. So thank you very much again for joining us. We will meet you next week. Tab tak ke liye tata. Goodbye. Phir milenge. And uh, Jai Shri Ram. <laughs>